Smells like I've played in these for a few weeks. Yeah. Also smells like my favorite shoe of the year. What's up guys? Thanks for watching Wear Testers on YouTube. My name is Jackson and yes, I cut off all my hair and yes, I am in my mid twenties, but I have the hairline of a man in his mid fifties. <laughs> Let's carry on. Today we got a performance review on the Curry 10. And the intro set it off. This is my favorite shoe of the year. <laughs> oh boy! That stuff is yeah! So the Curry 10 is obviously Steph Curry's 10th signature shoe. It's his third signature shoe with Curry brand, Steph Curry's brand under the Under Armour umbrella. Now these do look a lot like the Curry 9, but they've been fine tuned to be the best shoe from Curry brand in its young history. I freaking love these, so let's get right into it. So the best attribute of the shoe, which really I think is all of it, but if I gotta pick one, I'm just gonna go with the flow. <laughs> so if you're unaware, flow is the foam used as the midsole and outsole on the Curry 10, just like it was on the Curry 9 and Curry 8. Under Armour has tweaked their implementation of Flow. I'm not sure about the compound itself. Maybe they've tweaked that a little bit. Maybe they've left it the same, but they've definitely changed up the pattern a little bit. And dude, this stuff is incredible. Traction is incredibly grippy. It's enough for you to trip over yourself if your footwork isn't on point. Even in the preseason, just trying to get his rip. Oh. On clean courts, the traction is goat level. On dusty courts, conventional wisdom says foam is gonna have you slipping and sliding like a slip and slide. But the Curry 10 handled dust with relative ease. One of the courts I play on is old and dusty and it really puts traction to the test. And the flow held up great. I never found myself slipping and occasionally I had to wipe the dust off the soles, but that was it and I was good to go. I was always confident in my movements and cuts the entire time. The lack of rubber on the outsole also means that you're shedding a decent amount of weight and you definitely feel it when you put these on foot. These things feel like nothing. The only downside that I can think of with the traction is the outsole durability. I mean, it is foam. After playing in these for a few weeks indoors, I am seeing a little bit of fraying on the outsole. I am interested to see how long it's gonna take of me wearing down that outsole for the traction to become compromised. What I do know for sure is this, keep these indoors. You're gonna rip that sole apart very quickly if you take these onto an outdoor surface. So keep them indoors, and really regardless of the condition of the floor, you're gonna have a great experience with the traction. Flow is also the source of the cushion on the Curry 10, and it's a smooth, well-balanced setup that worked extremely well for me. There's a lot of court feel here, and the fact that you don't have an extra layer of rubber on the bottom of the shoe certainly helps. The Flow isn't plush, but it is a nice middle-of-the-road foam setup that's really comfortable underfoot while still remaining stable and responsive. Impact protection was also solid. After playing in these for two, three hours at a time, I would still be feeling a lot better than I would in these. Performance review coming soon. Or these, even though I love these. So this might not have as much cushion as something like the LeBron 20 or the KD 15, but it is a really impressive foam setup. It's right there on that upper echelon of foam cushions. For me, it's right up there with Boost and Micro G and Boom when it's implemented right. As for the insole, it's the typical yellow insole that is pretty much standard on Under Armour basketball products at this point. It's better than your typical Ortholite or whatever Adidas is throwing in their shoes these days. It's not as good as the old Micro G insoles that Under Armour used to put in their shoes, and I wish they would bring those back, but it is good enough that I don't need to swap it for an aftermarket insole. Although if you wanted to throw in, you know, some of your move insoles, you'd be able to do that obviously, no problem. So let's move on to the materials. The upper is mostly comprised of a material called warp. This is the same stuff that was used on the Curry 9, and it seems like they have fine-tuned it to really give you the right amount of strength and containment in the areas that you need it most. There's some extra reinforcement up here by the toe area. And you've also got a little bit of a tighter weave here in the sections where you need it a little more. Under Armour describes warp as, quote, like tiny seat belts. So basically it's a cross-section textile that's stronger than it looks, and provides you a good amount of flexibility and doesn't require any break in time. It feels really comfortable on foot. There is a half booty connected to the tongue that extends from the midfoot area up through the forefoot 
that adds an extra layer in there and helps provide some more comfort. The materials do allow for some airflow, so that is an added bonus, especially there right above the toe box. The tongue is nice and comfortable, does a good job of relieving any lace pressure. Now let's talk about the fit. I got my true size, and that is what I would recommend for anybody with a normal to narrow sized foot. Lengthwise, they're true to size, perfect. Width-wise, they're a little bit snug, so if you are a wide footer, I would recommend going up half a size. My heels stayed locked in from the second I laced these things up. And same thing through the midfoot and the forefoot. You do sit within that midsole just a little bit right here in that midfoot area, but as far as that goes, that's it. But yeah, my foot was right there on the footbed, stayed contained the whole time. You're not sliding, you're not slipping at all. There's just enough room up here in the toe box to keep things from feeling cramped, but as a whole, the shoe really just feels like an extension of your foot, and that's probably the highest praise that I can give a basketball shoe. Like these two right here are my favorite fitting shoes of the year, and this might even be a little bit better. Wow. So the support begins with the fit, and you're off to a great start there. You've got this heel counter right here. That's gonna help you stay locked in, no shifting side to side, up and down. You've also got an internal heel counter here on the medial side, really to balance things out and keep things locked down. The lacing system is simple but effective. You've also got a shank plate here that runs all the way up through the forefoot. So you do have some forefoot flex, but the shoe really is more sturdy than it looks. The base of the shoe isn't aggressively wide, but it is wider than your foot. So it's gonna provide you with plenty of stability. Like I said earlier, the Curry 10 truly feels like an extension of your foot. It's not giving you over the top support, but it's giving you exactly what you need exactly where you need it. So no matter the movements you're making, you're gonna be covered. I know it looks like a running shoe, but it's more supportive than even I thought it was gonna be. So there you have it. This right here, Curry 10, is my favorite basketball shoe of the year. I love the flow tooling, the fit is precise, and the support is gonna be enough for the vast majority of hoopers. I'm hoping that outsole durability doesn't become an issue until, you know, further down the road. If and when that happens, I can provide an update for y'all on Instagram. Follow your boy on Instagram. Like this is an example of innovation and risk taking that pays off. You would have told me even just a few years ago that you know you could have goat level traction from a foam outsole and a shoe that looks like this. This? Be this good? I, man, I'm really intrigued to see where the Curry line goes from here because you know, this is a fine tuning of the nine, which built upon the foundation that was set by the eight. Where do they go from here? I don't know. These are available now and there are more colorways on the way. If you already have the Curry 10, drop a comment, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace and much love to you.